Well, John Shooter had his first look at the valley this morning. Uh, what were your thoughts? Well, mate, he only went out to have a look, and uh, I was happy enough with him. You know, I, I haven't had a yarn to Dan what he thought, you know, about him there, but uh, he just did enough. He, he worked up the running good. That's all I really wanted him to do, you know, and uh, I didn't want to be pushing him around the corners and, uh, you know, to get him off, off balance or anything, and I thought just a look today and the trip over will do him the world of good. Well, he won the Liston, third in the Memsey. He's been super impressive. Uh, how's he come through the run? Yeah, no, he's good. He's improved. He's going ahead good and uh, doing everything right. So, uh, really happy with him. Be fair to say, he copped a few bumps in the last run and also travelled fairly wide. Yeah, it was a big run under the circumstances because he was out in the breeze and, you know, covering ground. And, uh, yeah, you know, I just hope he gets a bit better run in this race. So is he looking for the mile and beyond now? He is for sure. And,. Uh, that's all we've aimed him for, just bringing him up the ladder, and uh, I'm sure that you'll see a better horse, Sadie. Well, obviously, you want to get through Saturday, but is uh, the Cox Plate well and truly firmly on the agenda still? Yeah, the Cox Plate's right on the agenda. Uh, he is in the Caulfield Cup. He's been paid up second acceptance Melbourne Cup and Cox Plate, so we've got them all on the. They're there if we want to change our mind, you know, sort of thing. So, uh, but at the moment, I'd say it's Cox Plate Melbourne Cup. Had a fair bit of rain in here in Melbourne, the possibility of a, a wet track on Saturday, that'll suit him? Yeah, he don't mind the wet or dry, you know, he can handle both and, um, yeah, now I'm comfortable with it. We noticed he got let out with a pony this morning, he's become fairly inseparable with that pony. Yeah, yeah, no, that uh, Sava Sand trains at Flemington there, he brings his pony over every morning and uh, takes him out and looks after him and uh, in Sydney we had a pony with, uh, Kevin Moses' pony used to take him out there too, so he's been comfortable with them. He gets led round sadly off a pony, so he's just one of them big horses that looks around a lot, you know. So. so pretty confident we'll see the real shootout bounce back this Saturday? Yeah, if he handles the valley good, he'll, he'll be hard to beat. I've got no worry about that. Well, Steve Rostova returns to racing after an 18 week break on Saturday. How's she been working? Yeah, she's working good. I'm um, really happy with her work and the way she's done in the stable. And um, yeah, just a nice race to kick her off for the uh, spring on Saturday. Great preparation last start for her, Group 1 in the Sangster. Yeah, she got her Group 1 up on the board, uh, which was great. And um, hopefully, we can get, a, get another one this spring. She's only had the one start here at the Valley for a second, but she has got an excellent first up record. She runs good um, first up, um, and the race on Saturday is a pretty hot race, but um, you know, I don't know if she can win that race, but as long as she's running home good at the end of the race, um, that'll you know, give us a guide to where we're at. How'd she work here this morning? Yeah, look, had a look around a bit, you know, it was a little bit lost out there, and um, I saw um, Stephen, um, you know, you sort of give her a slap down the shoulder last little bit, she was sort of stargazing, but um, look, she's, she's well on herself and we're happy enough. We'd be hoping for a dry track on Saturday for her? I don't think it'll worry us, I, you know, we'd be hoping, but uh, at the end of the day I don't think we're going to get it. Assuming all goes well Saturday, what are the plans for her for the spring? Well that's what we're going to do is uh, have a look at her on Saturday and see how she runs and then there's, you know, there's plenty of options and we'll make our mind up after Saturday which way we go. But um, at this stage it's a bit unsure, but um, Saturday will be the guide. You've also got Playwright uh, running on Saturday? Yeah, he runs on Saturday in the 1500 metre handicap. He's come along good and um, he's come along with, um, we've got in mind country cups for him, um, you know, races like Cranbourne Cup, Vanilla Cup sort of thing. And uh, But he's going ticking over really nicely. He ran good the other day at Caulfield and, um, you know, I expect him to run a, a pretty good race here Saturday. What sort of green do you think he's going to get over this prep? I think 2,000, perhaps 2,200, you know, I don't think will be a worry. Um, he's won over 2,000 at Flemington, so, um, you know, he's, he's gotten a bit older and his sire was a, could run 2,400, so you never know, he might get that journey, who knows, but we'll, you know, we'll see, how, uh, see how we go over 2,000 first. Your best chance from the stable for Saturday? The best chance would probably be, he'd probably be a good each-way chance.